Chapter 3 Formatting in Word Children, you often need to do some formatting in your school projects and charts because formatted text draws the reader's attention to specific parts of a document and emphasizes important information. In Word, you have several options for adjusting the font of your text, including size and color. You can also adjust the alignment of the text to change how it is displayed on the page. In this chapter, you will study about the basic formatting in Word. Working with font Font is a set of letters, numbers or symbols of a given size and design that may be displayed on screen or printed on paper. In Word, you can change the font type, font size and font style, etc. to emphasize the text. Let's study about them. Changing the font type By default, the font of each new document is set to Calibri. However, Word provides many other fonts that you can use to customize text and titles. To change the font type, follow these steps. Select the text you want to modify. On the Home tab, click on the drop-down arrow next to the font box. A list of font styles will appear. Move the mouse over the various font styles. A live preview of the font will appear in the document. Select the font style you want to apply. The font will change in the document. Changing the font size. You can increase or decrease the font size of text by following these steps. Select the text you want to modify. On the Home tab, click on the drop-down arrow next to the font size box from the font group and select the desired font size. When the font size you need is not available in the font size drop-down arrow, you can click the font size box and type or select the desired font size. Then press Enter key. The font size will be changed in the document. Changing the font color. Word provides an option to change the color of text. To change the font color, follow these steps. Select the text you want to modify. On the Home tab, click on the font color. Drop down arrow from the font group. Font color list will appear. Move the mouse over various font colors. A live preview of the color will appear in the document. Select the font color you want to apply. The font color will be changed in the document. Your color's choices are not limited to the drop down menu that appears. Select more colors. At the bottom of the menu to access the color dialog box, choose the color you want. Then click OK. Applying bold, italic, underline and strike through. The bold, italic and underlined font styles are used to draw attention to important words or phrases, while a strike through is used to mark text that is mistaken or to be removed. To apply these font styles on the text, follow these steps. Select the text you want to modify. On the Home tab, click on Bold B button to make the text darker than the rest of the text. Italic button to make the text slanting 
to the right side. On the line button to place a line under the text. Strike through to draw a line through the text. Using subscript and superscript. A subscript or superscript is character such as a number or letter that is a set slightly below or above the normal line of type. It is usually smaller than the rest of the text. Subscripts appear at or the below the base line, while superscripts are above. Subscripts and superscripts are most often used in mathematical or scientific formula. To use subscript or superscript on the text, follow these steps. Select the text you want to use as subscript or superscript. On the Home tab, click on Subscript to set the text at or below the baseline. Superscript to set the text above the baseline. Changing text case. When you need to quickly change text case, you can use change case command instead of deleting or retyping text. To change text case, follow these steps. Select the text you want to modify. On the Home tab, click on the Change Case command from the Font group. A drop-down menu will appear. Select the desired case option from the menu. The text case will be changed in the document. Applying text effects. You can apply effects to text with the text effects command. This was known as word art in previous versions of word. You can add shadows, bevels, reflections and much more. To apply text effects, follow these steps. Select the text you want to modify. On the Home tab, click on the Text, Effects and Typography command from the font group. A drop-down menu will appear. A live preview of the text effects will appear in the document as you move the mouse over various text effects. Select the desired text effect option from the menu. The text effect will be applied in the document. Highlighting text. Highlighting is useful tool for marking important text in your document. To highlight the text, follow these steps. Select the text you want to highlight. Open the Home tab. Click on the text highlight color drop down arrow. The highlight color list will appear. Select the desired highlight color. The selected text will be highlighted in the document. To remove highlighting, select the highlighted text, then click text highlight color drop down arrow. Select no color from the drop down menu. Changing text alignment. Alignment refers to the positioning of text on a page. By default, Word aligns text to the left margin in new documents. However, there may be times when you want to adjust text alignment to the center or right. To align the text, follow these steps. Select the text whose alignment you want to change. On the Home tab, select one of the four alignment options from the Paragraphs group. Align Left. This option is used to align selected text to the left margin. It is the most common alignment and is selected by default when a new document is created. Align Center. 
This option is used to align text in the center of the left and right margins. It is mostly used for tiles or headings. Align right. This option is used to align selected text to the right margin. Align justify. This option is used to align selected text equally to the left and right margins. Justified text is equal on both sides.